Bravo, Mystic Poet 82 here, and welcome to Flashback Friday. Today's Flashback Friday story is about landline phones. Any of you who are old enough and have had one and grown up with one, please hit the like button or a comment. Um, basically, you had the standard one in the kitchen that was hanging on the wall and had a really long coiled cord, and a lot of times it would get tangled up. It was extremely annoying, but it was kind of fun to see how far it stretched. Now, we also had a VTech cordless phone in the dining room, and it was one of the clear colored ones that you could see all the inner parts and stuff, which was kind of cool. Now, the only thing we didn't have was caller ID, so we had no idea who was calling us. And my dad just basically told the family, like, look, if you got a call, start to leave a message and we'll pick up when we hear your voice. So the only person that really called most of the time was his identical twin brother, my Uncle Tom. Um, my dad's name is Mike, and a lot of times we also got telemarketers, which was basically why my dad started screening the phone calls. So usually when Uncle Tom would call... He would start to leave a really annoying message on the on the me on the answering machine, and one time was so funny. He left. Uh, he started doing Mick 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 Mickey Mickey Mickey, kind of like Stewie does the mom mom mommy thing on Family Guy. And Dad actually listened to it for a bit before he actually picked up the phone. Uh, but it was funny because every time, like, you could tell if it was a telemarketer because you could hear their answering machine click and then a click again, meaning they gave up. And usually that was a telemarketer and dad would just go stand there and go, sucker. And we, it made me laugh every time. But the funniest was always hearing Uncle Tom's goofy messages. <clears throat> Another thing we used to do as a family, whenever it'd start to snow, we'd see who could do it first and call each other and yell blizzard over the phone. And now we don't really do it that much, although I did text it this winter to a couple. Uh, one to my aunt, one to my dad. <laughs> it's not, not quite the same as doing it over the phone, but I didn't want to interrupt them if they were busy with something. But anyway, that's all I have for Flashback Friday. So yeah, if you remember having annoying landline phones before cell phones came out, let me know and what annoyed you the most about them or what you liked the most about them. Thank you everyone for watching and have a wonderful day.